Climb every mountain, ford every stream, follow every rainbow till you find your dream. A dream that you will need all the love you can give every day of your life for as long as you live. Dawn breaks in at the town of Kuch Bihar on 26 September 1965 with the bells of celebration ringing in the erstwhile Saha family. On this day was born baby Gautam to Professor Dinesh Chandra Saha and late Mrs. Shatana Saha. Professor Dinesh Saha, who is 86 years old today, retired as professor and head of the Department of Mathematics from the prestigious Presidency College, Kolkata. Late, Mrs. Shatuna Shaha was a graduate and a very skilled and compassionate homemaker who instilled in her son from a very early age the immense qualities of a loving leader. Both Professor and Mrs. Shaha were active in their social work for the community and were aptly elected as presidents of the local Rotary Clubs at the district level. Mrs. Shaduna Shaha had been the guiding light in little Gautam's life and her love for sports and social work, qualities of leadership and building friendship were innately gifted to her son. Gautam grew up with his older brother Koshik amidst the peaceful, lush nature of Kuch Bihar and shared a bond of love and solidarity that has kept them together even today under the same umbrella. Koshik, who is a BE in civil engineering, is married with two lovely sons. Little Gautam started his school life on the grounds of Jenkins School in Kuch Bihar. School life was filled with fun, games and studies. He passed his Madhyamik examinations in 1981 with flying colours and received the National Scholarship. Then, he joined Barasat Government School and passed his higher secondary examinations in 1983. From his early days in school, he had a deep passion of building friends and reaching out to people. His motto was, in the words of Mother Teresa, spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. Alongside, he loved to engage in sports activities, extracurricular programs and social work. He was a NCC cadet from a very early age. He was awarded the AB certificate for his exemplary efforts. He was also involved with St. John's Ambulance and later became a life member. Under the able and close guidance of his parents, he became actively involved in the medical wing of Rotary Club and was awarded the Paul Harris membership. He later became the medical director of Barasa Rotary Club. Sports was his love. Whether it was cricket, football, javelin throw, wheel and barrel race or simply running on the tracks and merrily hitting the shuttlecock. What he valued more was his sportsmanship. Equal respect for winning and losing. Brotherhood with fellows and zeal for life. Interestingly, he was mostly the keeper, whether in soccer or cricket, and always the last defence in his team, a quality which was reflected on many occasions outside the field as well. Equally, he was enthusiastic in recitation and drama, and especially his trusting deep voice enthralled his audience. Dr. Saha joined North Bengal Medical College Shiliguri in 1984 and was recognized for his fantastic people skills and leadership qualities from the very beginning. He was elected as the Assistant General Secretary of Students' Union while he was only in his second year. He passed his MBBS in 1989 and after his internship and housedipship in medicine, he joined as a senior resident in the Department of Neurology at SSKM Hospital under Professor N. N. Sarengi, the doyen of neurology in India. Very soon he became a favourite student of Professor Sarengi and excelled in his clinical skills under his tutelage. During the residency years, he became the president of All Bengal Junior Doctors Association of SSKM Unit. On completion of his senior residency, he joined the MD course in psychiatry at NRS Medical College in 1993 and stood first in Calcutta University in 1996. 
His teacher and mentor, late Professor Gauranga Bandhapadhyay, had a tremendous influence in his life and laid the foundations of his career in psychiatry. On 30th June 1994, he got married to Madhumita, lovingly known to all as Shohini. She is an arts graduate and a remarkable lady. Being extremely loyal, she is honest, active, hardworking and very compassionate. All through their married life of 26 years, she has always been a positive driving force in Dr. Shah's life. She has taken care of their family and encouraged him to pursue his dreams. They have two children, Shubhaya, who has completed his MBBS and presently pursuing his internship, and daughter Isha, who is studying in class 12. Their two nephews, Shomudeep and Shorodeep, have grown up together as one big family. Dr. Saha lives in Barashat with his father, older brother, sister-in-law Shapna, wife Shohini and the four children. His recent love is lovely Jack, who greets him every night on his return with the most passionate hugs. Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. In these words of Albert Einstein, we can clearly say Dr. Saha was an ardent worker of Indian Psychiatric Society right from his postgraduate training days. He attended every ANSIPS and was involved with the society in different roles from the early days. He was elected to the Executive Council of IPS West Bengal State Branch and then became the Honorary General Secretary of the IPS West Bengal State Branch from 2007 till 2010. He later became the president of Eastern Zonal Branch of Indian Psychiatric Society in 2018. As is said in the words of Nelson Mandela, the greatest glory in living lies not in never failing. He was elected as a direct council member of IPS and contested unsuccessfully in the national elections for Honorary General Secretary in 2014. Dr. Shah in 2016 was elected uncontested to the post of Honorary General Secretary of IPS. In the meantime, he also served as the chairperson in the Publication Committee and the Membership Committee of IPS and took both these committees to a new height. In 2018, he was elected as the Vice President of Sark Federation and in 2020, he was elected once again uncontested to the post of Vice President come President-elect of Indian Psychiatric Society. At present, he is also the Vice President come President-elect of the Indian Association of Geriatric Mental Health. Recently, he has become a member of the Standing Committee of Scientific Section of World Psychiatric Association. He is an International Fellow of the American Psychiatric Association and a Life Member of Indian Medical Association. Way back in 1997, at the ANSIPS in Jaipur, Dr. R. R. Ghoshroy, past Honorary General Secretary of Indian Psychiatric Society, had predicted that one day Dr. Shah would become the president of IPS. And, as Elena Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Probably his mentor had planted the seeds of his dream in his subconscious mind on that very day in 1997. Dr. Gautam Shah is the founder of Clinic Brain Neuropsychiatric Institute and Research Center at Barashat, an exceptionally well-equipped mental health clinic which he started himself. He wanted to give the society a complete and comprehensive mental health care facility. Recently, he has also started the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services, a division of his institution for better management of these age group individuals with psychological problems. Dr. Shah is also a visiting consultant psychiatrist at Barashat Cancer Hospital and presently is an honorary consultant with Barashat Citizen Forum, where he offers regular voluntary services. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. With these words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, we would like to say that even while managing an extremely busy professional career, Dr. Shah has always focused his attention to the local people in need and ensured that through his charitable efforts, 
thousands of children receive food, education and inspiration to leave. He is the founder president of Angels for Angels, a trust dedicated for the deserted street children and elderly people in Angel for the Angels went above and beyond in their volunteering efforts during the COVID-19 lockdown in India from 26th March 2020. They realized that this was a crisis time, just not for the children and elderly citizens living on the platforms, but also their mothers and other homeless adults who normally spend their lives begging on the platforms of the railway station. He and his team converted his own home kitchen to start the preparations and went out in the middle of the pandemic to distribute food to more than 300 homeless hungry, along with masks, hand sanitizers, toothbrushes and soaps for daily use. His organization also carried out relief work in the Cyclone Amphan hit coastal areas of West Bengal for a whole week in Shundarbon and Pathar Pratima. He also started seeing patients free of service referred from Citizens Advice Bureau, a charitable organization during this lockdown period. Indian Psychiatric Society is proud and blessed to have Dr. Shaha as the newly installed president. We express our sincere wishes and heartfelt prayers for his continued distinguished service in the advancement of medical education, research, patient care and advocacy in the field of mental health, clinical excellence and service of humanity. He has always believed in team working and dedicates his entire success to the young members of IPS who has worked alongside him for the success of this organization. In the words of Bob Marley, love the life you live, live the life you love. Dr. Gautam Shah. We wish you all the best in your new journey as the president of the Indian Psychiatric Society.